In this exercise, you're going to create a calculator using functions, um, the functions that will add, subtract, divide, and multiply. I'm going to uh, demonstrate how to do this uh, by doing at least two of the functions, and then uh, you will be responsible for the other two. So let me open up my idle, ideally, and there it is. When you're done with this assignment, make sure that you have a .py file to uh, turn in. If you did this using another editor, another IDE, uh, please save a, a .py file, a Python file, and turn that in. If you use something online or you use uh, uh, the uh, Microsoft editor or if you use uh, an, any, any other editor, please just make sure that you do have that text file that you save uh, with a .py extension. I'm going to create a new file so that it actually works. In idle, I'll make myself uh, some space here with two windows. Got my shell going and I can start to uh, type. So if we're going to do a calculator, the simplest calculator, uh, make sure that it uh, works with two values and we'll just use, I'm going to use for the sample here, num1 and num2, num and num and uh, and just do the uh, the simple math that way so just for starters i mean from if we go back to the very basics let's just say that we're going to have these two numbers and we want to show a result i'm going to ask the user first of all to give me some values a first value and a second value and i'll start with that num1 and ask it to be equal to the input of and then ask the question or prompt the user for the first value. I'll use a uh, colon, space, close the quotes, and then close the parentheses. I'll uh, go to the next line, get the second value, which will be num2, and that's going to be equal to whatever the user inputs when prompted for a second value. Simple enough. Now we're going to have two numbers. And I'm just going to start again, like I said, with a very basic calculator. I'm going to have this uh, be an adding machine. Just say uh, print um, num1 plus num2. And press F5 to run. I need to save this. I'll put it somewhere where I can find it. My desktop should work. I'll call this uh, sample. So I don't get confused. First value, I'll say two. Second value is three. And then I get the famous error message 23. It didn't add the numbers. It just uh, added the uh, the uh, string. So it says you started with a two, you finished with a three, and you get 23. That's not math, but let's fix it. I'm going to start by fixing my spelling mistake, second value. and Rather than printing and telling it to change the, uh, the data type down here, I'm going to say, uh, whenever you're asking for the input, give me the integer. So I'll say integer of whatever the user inputs. Same thing on the second line, integer of whatever the input may be. I'll run this again. I'll do the same operation. I'll say two. I should be down here, two and three. And now I get the number five because integers are being used. So I guess I could do uh, different uh, pieces of code to do all of the uh, operations, plus, minus, divide, and multiply. But rather than doing that, I'm going to use uh, some functions. So at the very top, instead of uh, Having this uh, uh, go straight into the program, let me view some uh, line numbers. Uh, before even line one, I'm going to give myself a little bit of space. And I'm going to define a function that's going to be what's going to take care of the addition. I'll use the uh, keyword def for define, our define our function. And since we're going to be adding, I guess I could call it add or something like that. I'm, going to call it plus because some things will be plus, some things will be minus. And I'm going to say plus 
uh, whatever the action actually that the uh, the function is called plus now what it's going to be doing it's going to take some arguments we've already been working with num1 and num2 so just take them in that order whatever num1 is and num2 may be uh, do the function to those numbers the function is going to be what follows it's going to be a colon press enter and now I have my tab space and here's where the magic is going to happen I already have the function basically down here it's going to be printing the value of the first one plus the value of the second one I'll cut that and make it part of the function so that whenever we call on plus and we give it a number one and a number two it's going to take the number one and number two and add them and display at the same time so this currently won't do anything because it's basically just defining a function which by the way should be returning a value I'll not really need it but I'm going to use a best practice and just say return the value there I have uh, the uh, inputs to ask the user to give me something uh, and then here I'm gonna say well now that I have uh, the values number one and number two being put in uh, call the function and the function is gonna be just that it's gonna be plus uh, and then the numbers that were given num1 and num2 let me run this the first value I'll say it's three second value I'll say it's seven and I get the answer ten so what happened here was that we have to find the function it's uh, going to be dependent on two numbers in this case num1 and num2 the function is called plus the uh, uh, the function its basic function is it's going to print the numbers added uh, it's going to return that value to the program so as it runs uh, when we call plus num1 and num2 it actually will be displaying that the value here as I am uh, doing this I can tell it just before it gives me anything to be a little bit fancier if you will I'll add a line just before calling the function and I'll say uh, print and uh, open up a quote and say that the answer is colon and close it like that I'll run this again just to make sure it's still working and my first value is 4 my second value is 3 the answer is 7 it I don't you know it everything we've been doing so far it's just depending on line and line and line it's always a return sometimes there's no return one thing that we can do to sort of beautify this a little bit if possible is when we say that the answer is right after the quote I'm going to add a comma and say at the end is and then do a double quote double quote basically there's no line feed it's just saying the end is here right now and there's nothing to it so that if I run it and I give it a value, one and then four, it's going to say the answer is five all in the same line. So a little bit of a, a design magic there. Now we're doing a full calculator. This is only adding. Let's do the next, uh, the next function here. Let's do something that subtracts. I'm going to copy the text for my first function that I defined and I'll copy it right after and uh, this is simply defining the same thing again I now want something that's going to subtract so I'll call this one minus and I'm going to use the same values num1 and num2 and then print num1 whatever the first number is minus num2 the second number return the value currently if I run this it's not going to do much other than do the addition because all I've done is added a function that's not being called yet. So how do I go about this? We've already done a simple game in this class, the camel game. And so we know we can, we can ask for choices. So let's add another input here. And let's say, well, before the answer is given, uh, even before anything happens, first value is this, second value is that, and then right after that I'm going to say well now that you're giving me the values what do you want to do with them and I'll say well give the user the chance to give us a choice and the choice is going to be equal to whatever they input 
and I'll open up the parentheses. Here I could ask the question and then do multiple lines, something that uh, we found even after the, the camel game. We didn't do this in the camel, but we can do uh, a press enter to go to the next line and add in three of the uh, double quotes. I think single quotes work as well as long as you keep them the same. And then that way it'll uh, use whatever we give it in between the quotes. We'll say select your function and we'll give them the choice of A add and B subtract. Might as well, I'm going to say multiply. I'm only going to do two, but in the end you'll have to do all of them. You say multiply and then D divide. And I will finish the uh, menu by giving it the three quotes and closing the parentheses. So the choice is going to be the input of whatever the user selects. I don't know that it matters that we have a space there since it's all inside of the function of the input there. Uh, it will give them four choices. Right now we have two um, functions that we can use. We can use a plus and we can use the minus. So uh, once the user gives a first value and second value and then decides whether they want to add or subtract, we have to give it a little bit of logic here and say that if the choice given, name of our variable is choice, is equal to, that's a two equal signs, and I'm not going to be concerned about uppercase and lowercase, I'm just going to assume that you're going to use lowercase a colon and then the logic I'll bring up the print the answer is and then do the plus right after. Um, I was doing all those uh, backspaces and going back and forth just to make sure that the spaces are correct. We will have four spaces here for the tabs. Then I'm going to have a second choice. Copy this and if the choice is A, the first thing will happen, I have to follow the logic and say that else if, E-L-I-F, the choice is B for minus, then the answer is that remains the same, but we're going to call the minus function. Minus, and this is going to be the same number one and number two, because we are still asking the user to give us two values. I'll run. First value, I'm going to say it's three. Second value is going to be 7. Select your function. I'll say A. And the answer is 10. 3 plus 7 is 10. I'll run this again. Pressing F5 to run it, by the way. And since I'm going to uh, subtract, I'm going to say 10 for the first one, or 19. And then say uh, second value, take away 9. So we can end up with 10 if we subtract by selecting B. Answer is 10. By the way, if you were to run the subtraction and start it with a 5, and the second value was a 7, 5 minus 7 is going to be negative 2, which is correct. So that works. So for your assignment, you've already got the basic code here. I've shown you how to create a uh, function, how to create a second function how to uh, have the user provide two values and then select a function. Uh, it's up to you now to create a function to multiply and one to divide. And then uh, the menu should be expanded so that it accepts those two extra choices and gives the user an answer. Be sure to turn in a .py file. In this case, mine is called sample.py. That's what I would be turning in. In your assignment, when you click on it, as an example, once it's complete, I would say browse local files. I know that I saved mine right on the desktop. Sample.py is what I'd be looking for. And then submit.